the well-known photography published by the Ford Motor Company showing McLaren leading miles, with the MKII of Ronnie Bucknam and Dick Hutcherson III, may have fooled some people, but this document doesn't show the finish line and the public doesn't know at what time the picture was shot. The finish remains, however, the closest in L.E. Mann's history. It took about five months working to complete the diorama. Many reference images were found online, including, structure of the boxes, track, and background. Track surface was obtained with a plywood board painted in dark gray with color gradations. Boxes were manufactured with plywood sheets, wedged with rapid glue and painted in white with the necessary shades. On the ceiling of the terraces some LEDs were fixed to create the night atmosphere. The sunshade is made of synthetic material and fixed with two metal supports. Bushes were obtained with Siberian inflorescence adding spray glue dusted leaves. Speaker and utility poles, with functioning lights, were turning obtained as the French flag support. Guard rails were realized with metal soldered parts while the enclosure was created with plastic net and brass painted piles. A small part of the figures, drivers, mechanics, umpire, gendarmes, firemen, and spectators, were all hand-painted, while other plastic figures were added to the scene. Background is an oil-painted trompe l'oeil on board, fixed to the structure of the diorama. The whole structure stands on a wooden frame protected by a plexi-dome. The size is about 100 per 80 per 60 centimeters.